the solos book for level one, page 14 and 15, we have Toes in the Sand. And so this song, they give you the hand position mm -hmm. on the map right here. And then um, you have to play this first part. And they're trying to teach you a little bit of jazz terminology here. So they're telling you this first page is called the head. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing you could call it would be the A section. And then they just give you this to show you these are the three notes with your left hand and the three notes with your right hand that you can play for the B section, which is where you're going to be improvising your own melody using these notes. And improvising just means to make up. So the B section of this song is you making something up. And then you return back to the first page or the head or the A section. Um, so it's like A, B, A. And the B section is gonna sound a little different every time you practice a song, probably, because if you make something up, hopefully it's not gonna sound the same every time. So I'm going to show you what I mean here. So, um, like I said, the A section, you just put your hands in middle C position. Mm -hmm. Excuse my nails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're a little too long, but I'll you know, still demonstrate. And then you just use these, these three and these three, the first three fingers for middle C position, so from E to A. And you just keep a steady pulse. And then you'll hear in the accompaniment, after eight measures of this, you'll hear this, it sounds like an ocean wave kind of sound because the name of the song is Toes in the Sand. And then when you hear that, you're like, okay, here we go. And go back to the beginning. Does that make sense? That and then when you get to the end the second time, then um, you're done. Okay. Yeah, so it's like you'll play as much time as this mm -hmm. page for the B section, I think. Okay. It might be twice as much as a page, but anyways, it's kind of a fun exercise. Do you have any questions about that? No. Okay, good luck.